Hi, this video is going to save you hundreds of dollars. If you're a video editor and you want to connect your NAS to your laptop or editing machine directly while it's still connected to a 10 gigabit network, you would probably look at QNAP NAS solutions. So let's have a look. What are the prices for those solutions? So the cheapest Thunderbolt NAS out there is TBS H574TX. This one comes with Thunderbolt 4 connection. But this NAS doesn't have any hard drives, it only has SSDs. If you want 3.5 inch hard drive based uh, models, you'll need to look at 74T series. And if you want the 6 bay model, it's going to cost you $2,500. And that's for i5 model. If you want to look at 8 bay model, there are two options, i7 and i9, but it's going to cost you three to $3,500. You're probably thinking like, okay, how do I save this money? Nowadays, NAS marketplace is very crowded and there are so many solutions available out there in the market. And there is one key thing that you need to look at and that's called USB 4. USB 4 40 gigabyte connection is also compatible with Thunderbolt. So this allows you to create a Thunderbolt link between your PC and your NAS. So we are looking for this USB 4 port because these are the devices you can connect directly just like you would with a QNAP. But this one costs only 700. If you convert it to dollars, it's 800 dollars. And this NAS comes with five hard drive bays, which you can use for SAT SSDs, three NVMEs, an M.2 connection if you don't want to use those three NVMEs. The other box you can look at is Ustar VTR Max. This box has five NVMEs and six hard drive bays. This is a beast and it only costs $700. And again, we are looking for this key element, which is USB 4. And of course, we can't forget about Ugreen. They sell their six bay model for 899 pounds, or it's around $1,000. And it also has Thunderbolt ports. All of these boxes you can connect to your PC or your laptop directly through your Thunderbolt port. You'll be using something called IP over Thunderbolt. This means you do not need to invest in 10 gigabit switch or 25 gigabit switch, 10 gigabit adapters like this. These things can cost up to 200 pounds and they are completely unnecessary. I'm not going to even mention 10 gigabit switch prices. All you need is one cable. We are connecting USB-C to your Thunderbolt port on your laptop. So on your Mac, open settings, type network, and you'll see Thunderbolt bridge connection will appear. If it's not there, click add service and choose Thunderbolt bridge and click create. Then go and configure it. Go to TCP IP and give it a manual fixed IP address. So in this case, I'm going to do 10.0.0.1, subnet mask 255.255.255. This is all we need to do. And then obviously on the NAS, we're going to change the last digit of the IP address to 2. So you can choose any IP range you want. Just make sure you change the last number on the other device you connect to. So click OK. And we are going to do the same thing on the NAS. So I'm running Fedora there. I go to settings, network, and you'll see a new connection, which is your USB 4 connection. You'll need to configure it. Go to IPv4, type in IP address, change the last number so it's different from the PC or laptop you're using. Same subnet mask and click apply. And that's it. Now you have created a connection between these two devices. If you're running Unraid, you're not going to see Thunderbolt uh, connection there in the settings. You will need to set up Thunderbolt connection manually. So here are the speeds that I'm getting with one gigabit connection. Let's set up Thunderbolt connection. We only need to execute three lines to make this possible. So let's open command line in Unraid. So let's check what connections we have. So the first command we need to do is IP link set Thunderbolt app. That will enable Thunderbolt. And then we set IP address. We're going to choose something manual like 192.168, let's say 200 slash 24 to give it 255 subnet range. The Thunderbolt 0, so this is going to give the Thunderbolt connection this IP address and subnet mask. So it actually takes only two commands to enable this. So let's map our uh, shared folder. Let's go to Finder, uh, connect to server. Let's type in manual IP address that we set for the Thunderbolt connection. Okay, let's select the target. And the speeds we are getting is 1,600 megabytes a second. This is a massive improvement. And I didn't buy 10 gigabit switch, 10 gigabit USB or Thunderbolt adapter, none of that. All I did is just directly connect NAS and your laptop through Thunderbolt bridge. The setup I was having in Android was uh, five 
SATA SSDs in RAID 0 to maximize the performance. Also tried RAID 0 with NVMEs, but the speeds seem to be exactly the same. So if you're curious, if you can connect your NAS and your computer directly without any adapters or switches or routers, you can do it if you have USB 4 slash Thunderbolt port. So if you want to save some money, you do not need to go for very expensive Thunderbolt solutions from QNAP. You can also have your own DIY server. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a cool day. See you next time. With this direct connection, there is no 10 gigabit bottleneck. Now we are talking 20 gigabit or faster.